Hi, I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. A few weeks ago, I got in contact with Marshall and I asked them if they would mind sending me a couple of amplifiers so I could review them on the channel. They asked me which ones that I wanted to review and I said, well, how about send me the Studio JCM800 and the Studio Plexi? Now, they kindly sent me those amps within a few days and I did a review on those two amps and I was completely blown away by how good they sounded and how useful they are, not only in the studio, but you know, you could actually gig them. 20 watts, the way that these things sound and the, you know, the level that you can get out of them, you could definitely gig with them. So after doing those videos, I then got in contact with Marshall again and I said, now, would you mind sending me the, the Jubilee, the Studio Jubilee? Marshall kindly, in a few days, sent me a uh, the Studio Jubilee as well as a DSL, which I'm going to be reviewing in a couple of days. Now, I thought that I would be more into the JCM800 and the Plexi than I would be into the Jubilee. But after trying the Jubilee, as soon as I plugged it in, it just it's just an incredible sounding amplifier. Again, loud enough to gig with. And because it's a two channel amp, it's a little bit more versatile. So this could be the amp that I take out and actually gig with. Anyway, in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Marshall Silver Jubilee Studio. I'd just like to add that this is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid for this video. These amplifiers go back to Marshall at the end of the review, so it's completely unbiased. <laughs> The Jubilee Studio is basically a higher gain version of the JCM800 with a few different features. It's got another channel that you can use. So you can run this amp as a clean channel and an overdrive channel, or you can run it as an overdrive channel and a lead channel, depending on how you set it up. So let's have a look at some of the controls on it. So we've got presence, bass, middle, and treble. We've got output master, we've got lead master, and we've got input gain. So the clean channel sounds like this. Now what we can do with the input gain, if I turn it up, is to increase the gain going into the front of the amp, which is gonna create a clean sound on the verge of breakup, like this. pulling on the input gain control, we can engage the rhythm clip circuit. So there's the clean sound, but if I turn on a boost, like a really light boost going into the front of it, it drives the amp just a little bit harder, which turns it into a really nice, light, overdriven lead sound. <laughs> So let's turn the boost off. And now we can bring in the second channel. Now this is foot switchable, but if I push in the output master, that brings in the second channel. <laughs> Now, if I bring in a different guitar, 
Now this PRS DGT is quite a dark sounding guitar. It's much darker than that Serb which I just had. Let me just demonstrate. <laughs> Famously, the Silver Jubilee have been used by people like Slash and also more recently by Joe Bonamassa. Now let's go back to Slash because even though Slash didn't use, apparently didn't use the Silver Jubilee for recording the Appetite for Destruction album, I think he toured that whole album using the Silver Jubilee. So if I switch on the neck pickup and keep it on the lead channel, <laughs> It is that sound. The EQ on this amp is incredibly active and it works for any guitar. Now, as I said, this, this guitar is normally a very dark sounding guitar and I wouldn't normally pick it up as my first choice for say clean sounds but if I bring in the clean again I was watching a few reviews the other day of the Studio Silver Jubilee, and in particular I was watching Henning Paul's review of it, and he was saying how he didn't believe that it was a very good pedal platform. So what we're gonna do is just to try a few of the different pedals, a few of my different pedals going into the front of it. So we've got channel one, which is the clean of the two channels. That sounds like this. Now, if I bring in a boost pedal, Sounds great. And if I bring an Earthquake Devices plumes in, sounds like this. Sounds great. And if I bring in a Thorpey Peacekeeper, which again is another light overdrive. I think it sounds amazing as a pedal platform amplifier. The reason why I have those three uh, different overdrive pedals on my board is because I use them for different amplifiers because some work with certain amps and some don't work with certain amps. All three of those work really, really well with the Studio Silver Jubilee. Out of all of my amplifiers that I own, there isn't an amp that works as well with this PRS as that Silver Jubilee. Now let's bring the Telecaster. really cleans up incredibly well. Now, if I bring in the clip circuit. It never gets harsh, so it's an amp that can take you know, really any guitar thrown that PRS, which is quite a dark sounding guitar, the the Sir, which is sort of in between these two, but this is a very bright sounding guitar now. It just takes it really, really well. And if I bring in the lead channel for this,
still sounds great. So we've looked at the Studio JCM800, the Studio Plexi, and now the Studio Silver Jubilee. Now it's a really hard decision, but I think if I had to choose between one of these amps, I think I would go for the Silver Jubilee. I really love the way it sounds, the way it's versatile with having two channels. I just think it's a fantastic sounding amp and all three of them, if you made a choice on any one of them, you wouldn't be disappointed. All three sound absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. If you've got something out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.